This video shows you how you can sign into Windows 11 and attach your Microsoft account to it. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how you can attach your Microsoft account to Windows and combine everything like sign in with Microsoft Edge, maybe look up your Microsoft emails, on there and basically just attach your Microsoft account. Now, one downside to this means that you do need to have a password to log in to your Windows system. You can't have a Microsoft account fully attached to your system and not sign in with the password that's assigned to your Microsoft account, or you can select a PIN number, but you do need to have a password or a PIN to get into the system when you have a Microsoft account attached. Now, if you want to attach your Microsoft account to individual services, say for instance, like Edge, or just log into your emails, but you don't want it attached to the whole computer, then you can still do that and not have a password. Just simply go into the service, like for instance, Microsoft Edge, and then go up to the head and shoulders up there and go to sign in. And that's fine. You'll just sign in and you'll be able to sync your data with Microsoft Edge and do that with any of the Microsoft services. That means you won't still need to log into the whole computer with a password. But if you do want to attach your computer in its entirety with your Microsoft account, then carry on following this guide. But please bear in mind, as I say, when you log into the laptop, you'll need to either enter a password or a PIN number. So let's just go through it. So click on the start button and then click on settings just up there. If you haven't got settings there, then click into then just type on your keyboard settings and then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see settings app. Left click once on that. Then once this screen has appeared, go to accounts just there and you should see now big and bold there, one account for everything Microsoft. Access your favorite Microsoft products and services with just one account. Your Microsoft account connects you to the files, photos, people, and content you care about the most. So this is gonna mean, yet yeah, that OneDrive is gonna be associated with your Microsoft account. If you've got a, a free Microsoft account, then um, that is five gigabytes worth of space, which isn't a great deal by today's standards. It'll also sign you in to uh, Edge automatically to sync all of your settings. That's quite handy if anything goes wrong with your computer. Likewise, so is having files in OneDrive. If anything goes wrong with your computer or it gets stolen, just doesn't work one day, then uh, you can sign into your, your Microsoft account on a new computer and you should be able to access your files and your settings. Because that's another thing, it backs up as well. Some of your settings and some of your apps, not all of your apps, but some of your apps as well, it'll back up at the same time. The files, if you select OneDrive to back up your files, then it will back up your files up to whatever storage account you've got. Like I say, if you've got the free OneDrive or free Microsoft account, you don't pay a subscription fee annually or monthly for it, then you're not gonna have a lot of storage space on there. So I would recommend either paying for a, uh, a OneDrive account to get you more storage or back up somewhere other way like to an external hard drive or to a USB stick, which is likely to have more storage space. So anyway, I digress. So to carry on with this and sign in with a Microsoft account, just move your mouse over sign in, left click once, and then this Microsoft box will appear. And hopefully after a few seconds, it should then ask for the email address that is associated with your Microsoft account. So I'm just gonna type mine in. So I've just typed mine in, but I've blurred it out. So just click next. Then the next thing you wanna do is pop in your password, which is associated with that account. So it says here, sign into this computer using your Microsoft account. Next time you sign into this computer, use your Microsoft account password or Windows Hello if you set it up. We'll need your current password one last time. So if you've got a password set currently on the computer to log into it, then type it in there. If you haven't got a password, then 
just click next. And this is now combining the Microsoft account into the computer's settings. And here we go, it now says create a pin. So instead of entering your Microsoft password every time you turn the PC on, they're trying to get you to enter in a pin number or a pin, which should be shorter. So click next. And there you go, it's asking us to set up a pin. So I'm just gonna set up a, a pin number. You can, if you want to in your pin, include letters and symbols if you tick that box there. But if you just want numbers, then leave it unticked and just type in the number that you wanna associate with your Windows login. So I've just done that there and I'm just gonna repeat it just below and then I'm just gonna click OK. So next time we go to sign into Windows, it will ask us for a pin number. So let's just come out, let's just close this and then let's just sign out of Windows. And now let's just try signing in again. So I'm just gonna click the mouse button and there you go. It's now asking for my pin number rather than a password. So I'm just gonna type in the pin number and there you go. No need to press enter or return after it. It will just sign us straight in. So there you go. That guide showed you how to attach your Microsoft account to your sign in on Windows 11. I hope this guide helps and I hope you liked it. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel or have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, or Fire Stick accessories, then please consider subscribing or purchasing through these links, as donating and using these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to enable me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now for you, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.